history blogger Natasha is here and she's going to show us the ultimate chalky cookie. This is probably one of the most popular ones on your website. Yes, and it's one of my personal favourites because it's so easy to make mm -hmm. and it's got a whole lot of yummy mm. things in it. So we're going to start with some butter. Okay. And we're going to weigh up 165 grams uh -huh. and we're just going to get that melting. I can see from just looking at this beautiful smorgasbord of ingredients, coffee, yes. vanilla, we've got some delicious macadamia nuts and lots of chalky. <laughs> they are going to be irresistible, aren't they? Yeah, they're beautiful. They're nice and chewy and mm. they have that rich flavour from your coffee and vanilla and there's mm -hmm. oats in there so it's got a little bit of texture. Wow. So we'll just get this on the heat mm -hmm. and get that melting. Okay, Justine, do you want to weigh up the dry ingredients I for can. me? I can. So we've got most of them measured out. We just need one and three quarter cups of flour, so that's 260 grams. Okay. So your blog is actually really popular in the States. Yes, it is. Well, there's lots of cookies and brownies and things like that on there, so that's a pretty popular thing. Americans love their, they their do. baked goods. So do we, though. <laughs> <laughs> they do. So we'll mm -hmm. just pour that into the bowl, mm -hmm. and into there we will add one cup of brown sugar mm -hmm. and half a cup of white sugar. And we'll just give that a mix. Into that little bowl for me, do you yeah. want to grab one egg and one yolk? Okay, so one whole egg straight yeah. in there. And it goes. There you go. Thank you. Separate that just through my hands. Done. Beautiful. And they can go straight in here. And that coffee can come in as well. Okay, so this is just ground coffee. Yes. Freshly ground. Smells delightful and a nice splash of the vanilla extract as well. And all of these things will make these cookies taste so good. They just all enhance flavour. Mmm. And a good pinch of salt as well. A bit more? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Adds extra flavour. It does. So now we can just throw the dry ingredients in. So the flour. Okay. No sifting or anything no, involved? No, not with cookies. No. It's not a sponge. And into that as well we've got some oats that we've just ground up really fine. Mm -hmm and just a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, in it goes. While I'm mixing this, Justine, do you think you could chop up those macadamias I for me? I can indeed. How did you want them chopped up? Just roughly. Just roughly? Yeah, yep. so we've got one cup of macadamias and one cup of chocolate melts. And you can use milk or dark chocolate depending on whatever you prefer. Mm. Or a mixture. A mixture. Both. Fantastic. Yep. You can use chopped up chocolate or chips. It's a pretty free recipe. So you don't want to mix your cookie dough too much or it becomes tough. So just until you can't see the flour anymore. And then Justine will throw in those nuts and some chocolate chips. Okay, in they go. I've left some a little bit larger than others, but just because I love that, just that crunchiness. Perfect. And one cup of chocky. I'm I do just go for it. Yep, just yeah. I say one you cup. You can't have too much chocolate. I know. Like, what, are, what are we thinking measuring chocolate? <laughs> a little bit more because it tastes so good. Beautiful. <laughs> And if you just want to grab that tray for me, yes. we can scoop these out. We've got an ice cream scoop. That'll just help us get them all sort of the same size. Mm -hmm. So I'll get you to scoop them for me and I'll roll them into balls while you do that. OK, so I'll take that out, pop that Beautiful. there. Beautiful. Just roughly, you don't need them to be too perfect. This is a great just portion control too. You know exactly how many you're getting every single time. And they bake evenly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After we scoop them all, mm -hmm. we're just going to sprinkle them with a little bit of sea salt. And instead of putting them straight in the oven, we're going to pop them in the fridge for about half an hour. And what that will do, firm up the butter and the dough and it will stop them from spreading too much in the oven so you get a really nice, thick chocolate chip cookie. That sounds so good. Can't wait till they get out of the oven. Me too. Piping hot cookies. <laughs> Break it. Oh, these are nice. I can see that these are going to be chewy. Oh, look at that They're chocolate. They're so nice and thick too. Still melting. And I got you a little bit of milk. Thanks, Justine. I'm just going to dunk that in there. Why not? Natasha, this cookie is perfect. It has everything you want in it. It's got those beautiful chunky bits of macadamia nut. 
that chocolate. It's still gooey, it's so good. That salt really does take it to the next level, doesn't it? It does, I just love that addition. I'll tell you what, this could be the ultimate chalky cookie. <laughs>